Hello everyone, my name is Jack Wallen, and I'm here to help you get things done. In this installment, we're going to get the open source booked scheduler installed on Ubuntu Server 18.04. The first thing to be done is the installation of the necessary dependencies. Log in to your Ubuntu server and issue the command shown in the article below. When that command completes, start and enable the necessary services with the commands sudo system control start mysql, sudo system control start apache2, sudo system control enable mysql, sudo system control enable apache2. You'll also need to configure the mysql server, which can be accomplished by running the command sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. Log in to the mysql prompt with the command sudo mysql dash u root dash p. At the prompt, create the database with the command create database booked db semicolon. Create the new user and give that user full permissions to the new database with the commands create user single quote booked underscore user single quote at single quote localhost single quote identified by single quote password single quote semicolon. Grant all privileges on booked dot star to single quote booked underscore user, single quote, at, single quote, localhost, single quote, identified by, single quote, password, single quote, semicolon. Finalize the database with the commands flush privileges, semicolon, exit. Next, we need to download and unpack the booked file. Download the file with the command wget, https, colon, slash, slash, j-a-i-s-t, dot d-l, dot sourceforge, dot net slash project slash php schedule it slash booked slash 2.7 slash booked dash 2.7.1 zip unpack the file with the command unzip booked dash 2.7.1 zip move the file into the correct directory with the command sudo mv booked slash var slash www slash html slash Give the newly moved directory the correct ownership with the command sudo chown dash capital R www dash data colon www dash data slash var slash www slash html slash booked. There are two subdirectories that must have 0755 permissions. Do this with the commands sudo chmod dash capital R 0755 slash var slash www slash html slash booked slash tpl sudo chmod dash capital r 0755 slash var slash www slash html slash booked slash tpl underscore c now we can configure our web server create a new configuration file with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash apache 2 slash sites dash available slash booked Dot conf. In that file, paste the code shown in the article below. Enable the new configuration and the rewrite module with the commands sudo a2n site booked, sudo a2n mod rewrite. Restart Apache with the command sudo system control restart Apache 2. Finally, we have to take care of a few configurations and then import the database tables. Copy the configuration file with the command sudo cp slash var slash www slash html slash booked slash config slash config dot dist dot php slash var slash www slash html slash booked slash config slash config dot php open the configuration file for editing with the command sudo nano slash var slash www slash html slash booked slash config slash config.php. In that file, you'll want to edit the lines shown in the article below. Last but not least, import the database schema with the command sudo mysql dash u user dash p database less than database underscore schema slash create dash schema dot sql, where user is the username you created at the mysql prompt and database is the name of the database you created. You can now point a web browser to http colon slash slash server ip slash booked 
where server IP is the IP address of your hosting server, and then click Register User. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.